Another leader of the Idaho Democrats will not be returning to the state house next year. This morning, Boise Senator and Assistant Minority Leader Sheree Buckner Webb announcing she will not be seeking re-election. This follows House Minority Leader Matt Erpelding, who resigned last year, and Caucus Chair Marianne Jordan, who just about 10 days ago said she wouldn't run again for her Senate seat. But Buckner Webb's departure has some Idaho Democrats wondering if this is the beginning of a new era for the party. So where do they go from here? Joe Paris sat down with the senator to ask why now is the time to step away and if she thinks the Democrats are in a good spot. Well, the big announcement this morning, you're not going to run again. Uh, Correct. I know people are asking why. Why don't you want to continue? I have had a, a great role. It's been 10 years and I have never believed that it was a position for life. I know in some legislators and with some legislators also, they want to stay forever. That is not my goal. My goal is to endow the future, to uh, bring along new, younger talent, um, uh, diverse talent. And when I say diverse, I mean from all walks of life. I'm not just talking about age, ethnicity, or, or that kind of thing. I'm talking about really folks that are ready to look to what the future is like. Do you think you accomplished what you set out to do? Um, I guess, I guess I, I, I did in a way, and here's what I set out to do. The best work I possibly could for the people of Idaho. I wanted to learn, I wanted to grow, I wanted to bring a diverse opinion, I wanted to uh, change a few things, not everything got accomplished that I wished it did, and maybe now it's time for me to try to work it from outside this body instead of another. For the people that will be in this building still, yes, yes. you won't be here, Senator Jordan won't be here, Representative Erpelding gone. People are curious what's going on with the Democrats. Are you guys going to be lost without the names that have been here for the last five years? Well, no, because we've been growing. Uh, we've been growing. What did they say in, in football or basketball? We've got a, we've got another team. We've got another team coming in. There are folks that are eager, willing, and capable, already preparing themselves to take our places. Anybody that thinks that they can't leave an organization and that it'll fall apart is arrogant and foolish. There's still time in this session, but is there anything that you feel like will be left on the table for you that you wish you would have gotten done? didn't get done during your time here and you're hopeful that in the future someone else is able to push it. Well, forward. I haven't given up yet, but one of the things that's most, most, most invaluable to me would be um, amending the Human Rights Act to include uh, sexual orientation and gender identity. If we continue to differentiate or discriminate against one group, we're discriminating against all of us. We haven't done our work. That's unfortunate to me. What message do you have to the state of Idaho as you, I guess, not retire, but as you leave this job? There's still a great work to do, and particularly if you're talking about the state of Idaho in this body, we, we have work to do. We cannot lose our focus on what is right. Uh, politics kind of get jammed up in it sometime. We've got to get past politics and get to human beings and the impact to those human beings. Our cities, our counties, we need to work collaboratively, stay in our own lane as we're supposed to, but to be engaged, fully engaged, the head and the heart thing to make it work out. So what is next for Sheree Buckner Webb? Well, she tells me adamantly she's not retiring. She's just not going to be working at the State House next year. Just she has plenty of ideas in the works, but she won't be disappearing. She plans on continuing to be a part of Idaho politics, but Brian, in a much different way than she is right now. There are causes that she's very passionate about that she's going to continue to advocate for. She's just going to have to learn to do that in a different role. And she's got a granddaughter she's going to be able to spend a lot more time with, too. And, so. she, and her daughter, her granddaughter has actually told her that she wanted to replace her one day. Oh. She's only, I think, 10 or 11, so she's got a few years to go. So. Well, she's got a, a great legacy to, to chase after. So, all right, thank you, Joe, for bringing us that.